Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to take a minute to thank the organizers of the ASU GSB Summit uh, for giving us the opportunity to share the Sama story. My name is Chris Tassoni. I'm the founder of Sama Learning. I have a PhD in chemistry. And in my experience whoa, teaching chemistry, I'd walk into a lecture hall filled with 300 students and look out on my audience and I'd realize that there's a group of students who didn't really need me there at all. Their ability to learn STEM wasn't going to be highly impacted by the instruction that I was going to give. And the other end of the spectrum, there's a group of students who are going to have a significant difficulty learning the material no matter what I did. And there was a third group of students that lay somewhere in between that I had a strong potential to actually reach them. Um, however, my approach to teaching and that of my colleagues was kind of fundamentally unchanged for generations. So I start to imagine, what if I had magic powers and I could actually hand an atom to each one of my chemistry students? That they could touch it, play with it, interact with it, connect the mathematics to this abstract physical concept. What if I could turn my classroom into a bastion of active learning, allow students um, to explore the concepts in a controlled sandbox and drive their own learning experience? What if I could see where each student was in their learning process in real time? What if they could ask for help so that myself or another student could provide reinforcement around the topic they were struggling with? Meet the Sama Learning Platform, designed to create, distribute, and validate STEM curriculum. So let's talk a little bit more about each one of those functions. A pillar of the Sama Learning philosophy is to develop STEM content in an evidence-based fashion to ensure that student learn learning outcomes are continuously validated. Education research tells us there are many established interventions to improve learning outcomes. Virtual reality is the ideal environment to implement those interventions and to develop the next generation of solutions. The SAMA content model incorporates not only the advanced visualization that VR provides, um, but also, sorry, we are provides, but also incorporates active and problem-based learning, gamification, stealth assessment, um, and stealth assessment. Um, our, the SAMA Learning Taxonomy was designed to leverage the unique capabilities of VR while being firmly rooted in the established education theory. Our content creation tools enable subject matter experts to build lessons within our structure while having access to the magical capabilities of virtual environments. As a user navigates a lesson, we are able to follow their interactions. VR provides a volume and richness of data that is not available in any other technology. The SAMA platform uses this information to establish correlations between the student learning outcome on one hand and their user experience on the other. We use that knowledge in a couple of different ways. First, we use that to continually refine the SAMA learning taxonomy so that our approach to content development is as advanced as possible. Second, we tailor pathways through our content in real time for individual students based upon their previous interactions with the platform. In any learning process, feedback is essential. SAMA delivers feedback to the student so that they know what they know and what they don't know. We deliver feedback to the instructor so that they understand how best to utilize class time to reinforce concepts that their class as an aggregate had struggled with. And we develop, deliver feedback to the institution so that they understand when and how use of our tools has impacted retention. Let's take a second and talk about STEM retention. Uh, we have a STEM retention problem in the United States. For every 100 incoming students, 28 will express interest in a STEM field, 14 will actually declare, with only six actually graduating. Of the eight who do not, half of those will leave the university entirely. At SAMA, we are committed to making an impact now to meet today's workforce needs for STEM graduates, while enabling universities to recapture revenue loss from students leaving. The SAMA platform is designed to increase STEM retention by improving learning outcomes, increasing student engagement, and ultimately helping students to self-identify as STEM learners. In theory, that all sounds great. But what actually happens when the rubber meets the road? 
As I said earlier, we're very committed to implementing evidence-based practices. We went out and validated our approach, and what we found shocked us. We delivered a VR lesson on quantum mechanics targeted at introductory chemistry based on the SAMA model at Chico State, UC Santa Cruz, Loyola Marymount, and Stanford University. The students had received the lecture, done the reading and homework, and were as prepared as they were going to be before interacting with our tools. What we saw was that, on average, the students improved by a full letter grade. Not only that, but 92% of the students showed some amount of improvement. We had no gender dependency, no age dependency. And most exciting for retention, we pulled up the worst performing students the most. All this was great, but what's really exciting to us are the unknown unknowns about that our platform enables us to ask questions on. The SAMA platform allows us to ask questions that were never possible before, but will lead to new methods of teaching, deeper understanding of cognition, and tailored instruction designed for individuals. SAMA, our goal is to help students develop the foundational knowledge to understand the world around them, increase critical thinking so that students are prepared to deal with the real world problems they'll encounter, and increase engagement so that today's students are tomorrow's inventor, problem solver, and next great mind. SAMA Learning is a pre-seed company. We'll be deploying our chemistry content at universities this coming fall. And we'd invite you to come speak with us further. Please come down and visit us in the Grand Marketplace foyer at 11 a.m. Thank you all so much.